Oh yeah, what's right. good? Chilling fool, right here posted. <laughs> Frosty chasing dough. It's a pleasure to have you back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm glad to be here, fool. It's been a minute. It's been a while. It's been a while. A lot has happened. I feel like, I feel like every other week, fool. Like you make the headlines somehow, some way. Yeah, I don't know. I, I got that effect on people. <laughs> is, is, is that is that intentionally like you purposely like um, try to do to hit the blogs, or you kind of feel like you just do you and people pick I it, mean, pick up on it? I mean, in a sense, fool. Because I mean, obviously, as creators, everybody's like, what can I do next? But I'm gonna be real, fool. Like, we just be having fun. Like me and the squad just be having fun, and we just happen to have our phones up. We'll go viral, fool. You know, like. I mean, maybe I think that's the beauty of it, you know. Like mm. I'm just being me, and at the end of the day, you know. But yeah, bro, like cool. even like we get that horse. Oh, that's right. Like, fool, it just happened, and we happen to have our camera out, you know. So, but what yeah. were you doing riding a horse, fool? I was drunk at CNG music video. <laughs> For what the uh, uh, Spencer, right? No, it was Playmaker. Okay, Playmaker, okay. yeah, yeah. How, how'd you get plugged in with CNG? Uh, few uh, some of my cousins that that they grew up with. Him. They were in his ear about me, and um, he, he like, knew who I was, but he didn't really, like, tap in with me. But he tapped in with me as soon as he seen that I was, like, I was pushing music by myself, you know, mm. even before him. Like, I was trying to be consistent, dropping at least once a month or every two months. I was paying for, like, promo, obviously, with you guys. So, like, he seen that I had to drive for it already, and mm. I already kind of knew what to do with marketing. So... And then he plugged in with my boy Navid, and you know they started managing me. Managing, me. Uh, but yeah. But are you are you still an independent artist, or are you signed um, under CNG, or what's the actual dealing that you guys have? Uh, I'm technically I'm still independent. Okay. Yeah, it's like it's like a distribution deal. So yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Um. CNG doesn't really do a lot of interviews. Nah, he don't. <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying to get him to come through with us. Because, yeah. you know, we've been posting them um, when he was doing the Instagram videos. You know, yeah. that's what kind of got him popping. Him, Crook, one. I feel like they're all part of that wave. Yeah, like that early Instagram. Yeah. Type, yeah, exactly. But he doesn't do a lot of interviews. Nah, he don't. He's, I mean, my boy sees just like, he's really like, is it, what's the word I'm trying to find? Like, self, not self-conscious, but like, he's just, he's laid back to himself. Mm. That's what it is, you know? And like, and like, I don't know, I feel like maybe like he just doesn't, he doesn't want to do interviews in the sense of like, he try, he likes to avoid uh, conflict, mm. not avoid conflict, but like he, he's not the type to like want to stir the pot. Be in about drama anything, and all you know? that. He don't like to be in drama. Yeah. He likes his peace being by himself, you know, so, so I don't think it's anything against you guys or anything, you know, because mm. he don't, I feel like he don't like doing interviews with anybody. Like he just, he just like, he's more on the music and that's it, you know? Right, right, right. Yeah. I feel it. I yeah. feel it. He's just a he's just he's just quiet type fool, you know? Mm. To real to himself. Like he's not loud or nothing. Like he he like I said, he just he likes his peace. Did you go up with him when he did his interview with Criminal? Mm. I called in. Okay. I called in because I I mean it was live, so I was watching the live. I was at home with my with my son. And uh yeah, I called in and I was like just said shout out to my boy, shout it out, you know, like the label. And yeah, I said what's up to criminal, but yeah, you had That's what it is. <laughs> you, you you had choice words for him in a recent post and some recent bars mm -hmm. for a new song you previewed on Instagram. Mm. You had said, uh, "How your name criminal?" But you went and told. Yeah, on BFD flow, right? Yeah, BFB flow. Mm. Yeah. Did he reach out to you or nah. like did he get any backlash for that? Like, what's nah. up with that? Nah, I didn't. Fool, I actually got. A, I mean, some people were just. As far as like, cause the flow I did on that is like a Detroit style. Cause right. that's, that's I listen to a lot of Skiller Baby and BFB, Real the Young OG, you know. And um, honestly, I was in the studio and I was like, you know. And those songs is just talking. Those fools are just talking, you know. But uh, yeah, I got I got a lot of fools saying like it sounded whack as far as like, cause P, I mean, let's be real on Cali fool the rasa we ain't really used. The, uh, they ain't really used to that sound, you know. But uh. The the real ones that like understood what I was saying and listened to what I was saying, they were like, "Oh yeah, it's hard," mm. you know. Yeah, like my boy Big Tim. Shout out my boy Big Tim. He was loving, it, you know. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, fool. Like, I'm not gonna lie, fool. I, when I put it out, I was like, fool, am I gonna get backlash? But you know, it is what it is. Mm. Yeah, but now nah, that fool never reached out or you know, he never like like try to get at me. Nah. 
Did you listen to any of his music growing up at all or no? Keep it G? No. His movies that were on YouTube, I remember watching those, but no, uh, I never listened to his music. I knew who he was. I knew he was known for the Chicano rap. Right, you right, know, right. But yeah, I, I never really listened to his music. Do you feel like he can make a comeback in the rap game or is it done? Nah, fool. I mean, the rap game, I'm not saying I'm a gangster or a thug or nothing, but the rap game and the streets coexist, you know? Mm. And um, let's be real. If you want to be in the rap game, fool, you got to have uh, close relationships or, you know, have mutuals with people that are involved in the streets. So I don't think that, the, especially in Cali and in his lane, nah, nah, bro. I don't think, it, it, I mean, he wants to be a pastor, whatever, like that's that's on him. You know, everybody has the liberty to do whatever they want with their life. But as far as with the rap, I don't think he could make a comeback. Mm. Spe- just because of, of the lane of, of music he was in. Right, right. He you was, feel me? Yeah, he was a gangster rapper. He was a gangster rapper, bro. And, you know, and you're a gangster, but you snitch. It's like, mm. you know. So what's the best thing you could do then? Hey, low. <laughs> mm. I don't know. I, I'm not I'm not threatening. I'm just saying, like, you know, just, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. like, you know, like, nah, not I, that, not that. I'm just saying, like, you know, like, 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 just do you, fool, you know, just, I don't know. Right. Because I, I, I know he, he burnt a lot of bridges as far as mm. doing that, you know? So, like, yeah, but I don't think he could come back after that one. That's a big L. The attempts, re- do you already knew of attempts or did he reach out after you had made the song? So, or no. Or the song? Oh, uh, no. I, I knew of attempts. Because of Jay, Jay from Riv, and then um, I met him like two months ago or a month and a half ago when um, me, CNG, and Jay from Riv hit a, a high school in Riverside. We went to go give out merch to the kids, you know, reached out to the youth, and um, yeah, temps pulled up, and uh, low key he was like, he was like, "What's up, dog? Why'd you want to text me for a verse?" Uh-huh. And I was, and I guess my management hit him back, you know, like, oh, this is how much we charge, but you know, like, like he's the homie, so we we did a song, me, him, and CNG did a song, uh, like two weeks ago in the studio. We shot the video the next day, and you know, this it's it's a hard song. <coughs> Sounds different. Oh know? yeah, I think I seen something like that. Was it a pool party? Or yeah, something yeah, like yeah, that? yeah, yeah. <coughs> Big temps, I I don't know if you've been paying attention to uh the this our Instagram feed, but. We've been coming out with our starting five. You know, we got a starting yeah. five Hispanics every area. You fools need to do SGV. Uh, it's already made, actually. Am I on it? Before I answer that. Yeah, that means I'm not on it. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm going to tell you after, but before I tell you, I want to know who do you feel like should be the starting five for the SGV? Based off the past year of work, 365 days. Uh-huh. Not based off history, just yeah. based off the past year. Okay, past year, for sure me, you know, uh, lefty, uh, obviously, uh, drummer, drummer is, keeps his foot on, on the next fool, you know, he's been doing it for a while, and he stayed consistent the whole year, you know, try, um, who else is from the SGV, uh, YBE's been dropping heat, you know. I'm not gonna lie, that sh- remix he did of "Not Like Us" was pretty hard. And um, damn, me and my boy C and G, you know, like he dropped Spansa recently, Playmaker. Uh, what else? He did that winter mix for mm. the females, you know. But yeah, like me, C, Lefty, Drummer, and uh, YBE. Yeah, that's valid. I'll take it. So for our SGV list. We, we, you got it right You got four of them But instead of YB We put Rowdy in there Oh that's what I forgot Rowdy I feel like YB six man Yeah Would you agree with that Or would you put Rowdy six man Um Past year Yeah past year Uh YB as a six man Is solid fool Cause You know Um I just feel like The younger fools No disrespect to YB Like that He's He's love That's the homie Um the younger wave is just different, fool, you know? YBE is, like, he's a little older, and that's not, like, anything against him. It's just uh, the sound, you get mm. me? So I feel like, like, uh, that Lefty and Rowdy and, you know, they, they drop uh, more of the youth with it. So it's, like, you know, like, they'll go big on the TikTok and the Instagram. Mm. 
So the like you said, the buzz through the last year has been let's be real, Lefty and Rowdy ran it, you know, for the, they've been running it for the like the last year right. as far as the full scene, you know. Uh, that's why I forgot Rowdy. I forgot to say Rowdy. Rowdy's been doing mm. you know, musically. Yeah. No, shout out to Rowdy. Yeah. But yeah, that, that's that's a starting five right there. Yeah. How you feel about those lists? You feel like it's good or bad? I feel like because every time you put out the list, pe- rappers especially, mm. they always got something to say. Yeah. Oh, you blackballed me. Who's get their feelings. Oh, I should have been in yeah. there. Wait, so who's on the list? So it's Frosty, CNG, Drummer, Lefty, Rowdy. Orale. That's valid, right? Yeah. Yeah, that is. It's a strong list. Mm. Probably one of the strongest. Yeah. Honestly. Out of all the LA cars. Yeah, it is. Mm. Cause who who else did you fools do? San Diego, San Diego, Denver. Denver. We got a South Central one. Uh, we got Arizona one. The Both. Denver one was hard. The too. Denver one was fire. Yeah. Yeah. Then that's a, that's a good list, low key. Mm. Put us up against anybody. You had went viral not too long ago with my boy. Shout out Jay from Riv. You were on an Instagram live, and uh, pretty much you had a voice that you felt like Little Maru fell off. Uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, shout out my boy Guapo, Fat Guapo. I mean, shout out Grizz. We talked about it. You know, um, I just want to say, like, I feel like like I'm still young. So, you know, like. Are you maybe, breaking it down? Nah, 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 nah. I'm just saying, like, like, like. Like I talked to him, you know, and there's no beef, you know. Like mm. uh, I just, I just didn't like that. And I, this is the exact thing I said to Guapo. I just didn't like that people would compare me to Maru all the time. And um, you know, whatever happened had happened, you know. And um, um, I mean, I feel like I'm uh, not to sound cocky or nothing, but like you know, you're supposed to feel this way. I just feel like I'm not. I don't want to say I'm better than everybody, but like I feel like you know, mm. my music is just um, the way I approach music. It's different, you know. So, uh, but yeah, like shout out Maru, you know he's doing his thing. Shout out Guapo, you know we chopped it up at the New West Coast Festival. Guapo's a fool the way we handled it and shit. So you know, like there's no black, there's no bad blood there or nothing. But, but yeah, whatever happened, I, I've explained it. If people want to find out what it was and why I did what I did, um, go you could go tap into the Hater World or you know I'm pretty sure you could find the live anywhere on Instagram mm. where I was talking to Lush. But you and Little Maru are good now. Yeah, I mean, I've never met that fool in person, fool. Mm. Keep it G, like, I've never met him. But uh, Grizz, Grizz, um, l- luckily, one of my older homies, he, he he's good peoples with Grizz. So he, he had us chop it up at the at the, at the the show, you know? Mm. I've worded, I, I told him what how I felt. He told me how he felt, you know? And um, he told me, you know, it's water under the bridge. So, mm. you know, we're moving forward. And, like, you know, like, Rasa, it, it's true, fool. We're better united. So, you know, why even... Why even stir the pot like that and just cause beef over some? D- it really is some, d- you know. It just wasn't. Mm. D- it was yeah. over unpaid feature, right? Pretty yeah. much. Yeah. Uh-huh. I was sixteen, but yeah. Mm. I feel it. Yeah, it is what it is, though. You know. Type shit. I'm. Uh, I've. I've. I've came a long way from that. You know. Mm. So. So it'd be stu- It'd be stupid for me to just be stuck on that, because I feel like it would hold me back too. You know. Yeah. I feel it. You said when you were 16, I remember when I first heard your music and I first found out about you, mm-hmm. you had dropped uh, West LA to Pomona, right? Yeah. And that was like more like on some like, sh- right? Yeah, sort that's of what saying? I was on. Yeah. Right. And then it kind of feels like out of nowhere, like you start dropping like my life. Mm-hmm. I'm like, what the f-? But I'm f- with it though. Yeah. Because it's different compared to like the f- you'd be hearing as far as the LA scene, right? Mm-hmm. Was there something that sparked you to change from the sh- to the melodic or or what or were you always like that or what happened um i was always kind of writing like melodic i just i just was hesitant to record it because like you said in la we have a scene and i feel like if you don't I, stick with yeah, that I, scene I felt, I felt like if it was too different you know I was, if i do this i might it might flop or whatever you know but uh when i met c and g and navid navid told me some he was, I, I had recorded. Navid is your manager, My correct? manager. Uh, he he started, when I first met him, he was CNG's engineer. Mm. And um, I didn't know, but C was looking for someone to manage me because, you know, he's fully independent also. So, like, he runs his all, all his own. Uh, Navid told me, 
and he was like, I showed him a song I had recorded with the Milan. And he was like, bro, if you keep doing that, I'll manage you. Ah. He's like, because you have potential in that because of how different it is. Mm. And he's like, if you're going to do the go do the other thing, you'll probably end up like everybody else, you know? Because, like, let's be real, bro, like, in the L.A. <laughs> scene, as far as, like, the way uh, the sound we have or the, you know, the, the way the way people, when you hear a Cali artist, like, you hit a certain capacity you know yeah you stay stuck it's hard in for you to expand uh, out towards you know maybe the east coast or down south or whatever you know and uh i feel like with the bro and especially me uh gravitating more towards the the female audience uh it's just opening a door for rasa that we haven't really had you know ah. i mean we had like a like a um our mc magic i'll say that but it wasn't it was like how do i put this they weren't like a mainstream sound you get me like i feel like i'm very influenced by artists like shorty shorty and like and like kid Leroy, juice worlds like you know i listen to a lot of rock too fool like mm. like i love red hot chili peppers incubus green day like i listen to a bunch of blink 182 mm. so like like especially in this project i did uh, i did a uh one one song that it sounds way different to what i've done it's still melodic but it just doesn't sound West Coast. For what project? You know I mean? Oh, I'm dropping. A, I forgot to say, I'm dropping a, 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 a EP this month. What's uh, it called? It's called A Single Summer. We're gonna abbreviate it. How many tracks? Uh, five. It and that's be, one of them. So uh, it's an EP. It's an EP. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it's called A Single Summer. We're gonna abbreviate it. ASS. Ass. Uh -huh. You know. So <laughs> I did four melodic songs on. Like I usually do, and then uh, one that's ratchet. Uh, but the whole like, tape. Yeah, but the whole tape is basically um, first song is you're in love, second one is you guys have been dating for a while, bumping heads already. Ah, that's like shit. a story. Yeah, basically. Okay. Third one is I broke up with, the I got a new, but I still miss my ex, and then it's the rap, <laughs> and then the last one is the one I told you that sounds super like like mainstreamy. It's like um, you're drunk and you're just reminiscing about your ex, you know. Are these and transpired by? True events, or this is just a fictional. Um, like, has this happened to you before? Yeah, I mean, I mean, to an extent, you know, like, I mean, everybody's been broken up with, you know, or like missed their ex or been cheated on or whatever, you know, and everybody's been in a toxic relationship at least once, you know. So, I feel like, you know, uh, I do, I do use some of my experiences in life. The songs aren't literally about what I've been through, but I do use my past experiences to write my music, you know. Mm. Yeah, have you ever been on some toxic with a oh, female? Oh yeah, not? fool. Like, what's the most toxic you did that I've done? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I'm manipulated, fool. I'm a narcissist, <laughs> fool. It's my way of the highway. What do you be shit. telling them? What do I be telling them? Yeah, what I just said is my way of the highway. Mm. Like one thing I be telling my baby mama, fool. She's probably gonna be pissed I say this, but like, you know, like I'm still, I'm still trying to build my uh my fan base and shit you know i'm still working every day with the music shit and there's the late nights fool you know like, like yesterday i got home at 7 a.m i was out all night you know but uh you know she'll try to trip on me sometimes like no I don't, i'm not gonna let you go out and i'm like bro i don't even know why you start because regardless of what you say i'm gonna do whatever the fuck i want so you might as well just shut the fuck up and let me go do whatever the fuck i want to do you know but yeah, I love her though. <laughs> you know, yeah. I mean, it's just fool. Like, like I learned quick, fool. Like, with a female fool, this is one thing my dad taught me, fool. You keep a female at your level, at the level of your shoulders, not too above you, not too below you. You know, you need to know when to put your foot down. You know, and like if you don't do that with a female fool, like they're gonna walk you like a dog, fool. You know, so like, I mean, people say I'm a narcissist, I'm a dick, whatever, but I mean, she don't leave. She loves being with me, so, you know, it is what it is. Has that happened to you where you have little female, like, you know, dog walk you? And, yeah, yeah. Uh. Well, I'm not going to lie. When I first got my baby mama, fool, I've been, I've, I've been with her since my freshman year, you know? She was, like, my first relationship, fool. And I'm not going to lie. I cried over her. I fuck, uh, like Type I had shit. never been in a real relationship. I had been with bitches for, like, a month or two, you know, three maybe. And, like... I'm not gonna lie for like the first year and a half she had the pants fool she would mm. tell me hey we're doing this like fool she'll snap her fingers at me and God shit damn. type shit yeah fool but and you were going but, but exactly fool mm. but you know what the problem was fool me and my dad talked about it my pops was always working fool so 
my mom was always like, oh, you have to be super respectful to women and da 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 you know? So I thought like, like I don't, I thought like a female um, in a sense, you know? As like, I was like, okay, like, I need to keep her happy. I need to keep her happy. But fuck that. You know, I broke up with her for like a month. And then when she wanted to get back with me, I was like, it's going to be like this, 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 and that. You know? And it is what it is, fool. That's a trip you said that because we recently just had a... a, a, a a former, well, I shouldn't say former, but a P, uh, uh -huh. KP, the finesse interview all now. Uh -huh. And he has said some shit that where <clears throat> pretty much how he gets women to, how he gets to manipulate women is once you meet them, you treat them good, you do good deeds. And then once they fuck up, you pull back. You're on them. You pull back and then they're going to hit you like, hey, let's get back together. And then you tell them, if we're going to get back together, it's under these conditions. Yeah. So that's kind of what you did, right? She wanted you back. And you set your conditions, yeah. and if those conditions were met, then it's my way or the highway type shit. Yeah, that I mean, that's what I be saying, fool. Like, like I, I'm straight up, fool. I'm a dick, fool, sometimes. But, like, I have to be, fool, because mm. I know if I don't, I know if I don't, fool, she's going to. She's gonna walk me like a dog. Fool. Does it hurt sometimes now. that you have to be like that? Yeah, like you gotta does, be a dick. It does, fool. Because at the end of the day, fool, I got. Because you got good fools out here. Who don't yeah, want to yeah, be yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like fool, I was raised right. You know, like don't get me wrong, but like sometimes, like I'd be like, fuck, maybe, maybe I was too hard on her or whatever. But it's like, like, cause I got love for her, cause she's my son's mom. You know, like that's my baby boy, and that's her, that's his mom. You know, and I've, and I, I don't. <sighs> I mean, I feel bad, but then I think about it as like, fuck it, it's, gotta, it's what I got to do, you mm. know? I want to go back to the, um, we were talking about, I found out about you, the West LA, the Pomona mm -hmm. shit. You were at a barber shop, right? Yeah. You are a bar you were a barber, right? Uh, still you, am. Still so am, you still yeah. got a nine to five while you do the rap shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Not nine to five because I run my own schedule. But nine yeah, nine, you yeah. get what I'm trying to say. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Like, how difficult is that for you? As far as what? Like, because you still got to balance out, like... Well, I mean, the beauty of it is, like like I said, I'm a barber, so I run my own schedule. So, like, I could work from, like, 8 to 3. If I need to leave at 4.30, I could leave, you know? Mm. I just pay my rent at the end of the week, and if I want to work one day a week, then that's on me. You know, like, as long as I pay my booth rent or whatever, like, I could do whatever I want, basically. As far as, like, working, like, uh, my hours, I could do whatever I want with my hours. Mm. Yeah. What what's some difference between the barber game and the music game? Um, music game is grimy, fool. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I mean, you know, the like, barber like game, I've been I've been a barber too, mm -hmm. so I know how the barber game could be sometimes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, like the difference is like you really get to know a lot of the people that you work with every day. I guess you know, but I mean, with the music shit, you do too. I mean, they kind of go hand in hand if you think about it. Like they're kind of similar, you know. Mm. Barbers be hating on barbers because oh my clippers cut better than yours or whatever you know and that's kind of how the music game is too like oh my beats are better than yours or whatever mm. yeah what are some do's and don'ts in the music business as far as like what as far as like just doing music like doing business out here um I mean, I don't really know for I'm still learning as I go, <laughs> mm. you know, like, like, I feel like I'm lucky because I got C&G in my corner and my point of need because they've been doing this for a while. But uh, they kind of I mean, they, they, they give me the range to my own career, you know, like I, 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 I can do whatever, whatever I want. If I need advice, they're there, you know, but they kind of let me uh um, learn as I go, you know. Like they still let me make mistakes and shit, yeah. so I could see like, okay, next time, I already did this once, so I'm not gonna do it again because then this will happen, you know. But yeah. Mm, okay, okay. You don't feel like you'd be where you're at if it wasn't for CNG and Avin? Um, be real, nah. I mean, I I know I have the talent and stuff, but I wouldn't have learned like the whole like. The business aspect of shit you know like the marketing and stuff like i ha i had never invested in like I, I didn't believe in like investing in ads on instagram and you know mm. like i didn't even know about the algorithm i didn't know about none of that bro you know so so they really are mentors and like yeah i feel like i've came a long way uh because because of them you know obviously my talent i'm talented or whatever but um like hard work beats talent you know Type shit. So you know, like, like they taught me that that part of the of the game, you know. Because I mean, labels. Let's be real, labels nowadays, like, 
they don't build artists anymore. They want an artist that's built up already with fucking fan base. He gets the streams or whatever. But yeah, bro. Um, shout out to them for you know, like they they really do help a lot, and I, I feel like I'm lucky to have that. Mm. Really lucky. That's right. Yeah. You've been making a lot of mic drop appearances. Um, shout out to Shaka, mm-hmm. our sponsor. How was that? That was fun. For I'm not gonna lie. Um. Uh, um, it was cool to like see the see the uh, headquarters, you know. Mm. Like, obviously, you see it all the time on Instagram and stuff. So when I got there, I was like, okay, this is dope. And you know, um, shout out to Shaka for blessing me with a bunch of clothes and shit. But yeah, it was dope, fool. Um, cool experience. Uh, I did a little video shouting out Icon and Food Community. <laughs> did when you? I did, yeah, when I did a layup, I shot, I shot, I shot a three. You no, know? yeah, I shot, I did a layup and then I shot a three. And I was like, shout out LA Icon, shout out Food Community, shout Fire. out Shaka Wear, yeah. What other mic drops have you done? Um, I just shot one a few weeks ago with uh at the No Jumper store in LA. How was that? Uh, it was cool. <coughs> my, my my boys over there, Kenny and Steven, lined that up for me. Uh, shout out my boy Remo too. I don't know if you seen. I did a vlog too with the uh, No Jumper or with the uh, Compa Raider. Oh yeah, I seen that yeah, one yeah, out yeah. now. Yeah, but I did them, and then um I just did one with Beto. Oh, okay, with AK Beto. Beto. Yeah, with my dog. Uh, I, I shot that with him And pff, I mean he's cold fool You know With the editing And the coloring and shit Like that shit came out I had my son in the In the video I'm holding my son with Would you give it to him As he's the best videographer In the IE Hell yeah I say it all the time He's the GOAT Ah Yeah At the IE He's the GOAT mm. Yeah And then he works with everybody bro <laughs> Like Like From when I first started Working with him Like he He shot my first My first The video The West LA to Pomona and like, bro, he's grown so much, and like, bro, it's like it's crazy seeing it happen. Cause, like, when I first met him, like, he had the camera with like a little light, you know. Mm-hmm. Now this fool got the whole fucking shebang, you Don't know. Set up. Yeah, fool, and then he's fast, bro. He'll mm-hmm. shoot your video, and like, fool, he'll do like three, four videos in a day, and have them banging them out, you know. Fool, his fool edits while <laughs> driving. Ah, that's a trip. Yeah, fool. Like I, I seen him do it, and I was like, "Bro, you editing?" He's like, "Yeah." Like I was like, "What the fuck?" But yeah, shout out my boy Beto. I feel him. I be doing that too. Yeah. Like I'll cook a post like while I'm driving. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, fool has the camera right. I mean the the computer right there, just editing while driving. Yeah. Shout out to Beto. Yeah. Back to the no jumper shit. Mm. So you did the mic drop. Mm. How was that? It was cool, bro. Um, you know what's what's that street called Melrose? Yeah, Melrose. Right there, on Melrose and shit. Um, fucking yeah, we did some of it right there in the front where they have like the little uh, the basketball the basketball hoop, and then we did the rest in the front. It was like me dancing and shit, and then I had to go press some fool. <laughs> what you mean? Fucking um, so uh, Remo sent the homie Steven a vi- uh, a screenshot. Uh, some fool from what was it a sneaker store? A sneaker store across the street. Um, they sent a video to Remo like fools come wild, come get your boy, like this fool's music is trash, some shit like that. Mm. And they showed me and I was like, What the fuck? And you I mean fool, I'm good at take uh, uh, like taking the hate, you know? Criticism. Yeah, criticism and shit, but like yeah. fool, like you're gonna record me, send it to all these people, like, come on, fool. So I crossed the street, I go in the store and I was like, Yo, who the fuck was recording me? And some fool was like, Oh, me? And I was like, what the fuck you recording me, bro? And I was just, just, just. And I was like, you think my music's trash, fool? And he was like, I'm going to be real, yeah. And I was like, I was like, okay, that's cool, dog. I was like, just don't be fucking recording me, you know? I was like, you thought you were going to send it to Remo, and I wasn't going to find out. Remo's my boy. Mm. And he was like, he was like, nah, dog, like, like, your music ain't my cup of tea. Like, he's like, it's just, you know, you got one hard song. I forgot which one it is, but, um, yeah, bro, I do A&R and management. And, like, if you ever need songwriters, let me know. And I just looked at this fool like, nigga, you just said I'm trash, but now you want to work with me. Yeah. And then my manager was like, was like, who do you manage? And he was like, uh, Balenci, baby. And it's like, bro, like. Like I don't know, not to talk shit. Like I don't, I don't even know who Balenci Baby is, you know. But it's like I think we looked up his streams, and it's like he has like four or five hundred listeners a, a month on Spotify, and I have like eight K. So it's like, 
you know <laughs> whatever fool i guess i'm trash <laughs> but yeah fool i mean shout out to that fool though the other people in the store was funny because he when i was talking to him they're just looking at him and he's like yeah like you guys don't like his music either and they're like you're tripping we don't know what the fuck you're talking about <laughs> like we like this fool's music like you know but yeah that that shit was funny though but yeah the whole no jumper experience i've done i've done two videos there i did a uh uh when they had the booth I did a, a, a one in the booth in there, but I don't think it ever got posted. And then uh, I just did the the mic drop. It's supposed to drop soon. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it was dope, bro. Yeah, they showed me love over there. That's right. Shout out no jumper. Yeah, shout out no jumper. I remember not too long ago. I don't know if you spoke on this already, but I remember uh, it was going kind of viral that you had said you're the first fool to go shirtless in a music video or something like that. Yeah, with the OT shit. Right, 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 right. Do you like so when I think of, when I think of stuff when you say stuff like that, and then you say that like, um, like your music is different compared to all these other rappers, right? Uh -huh. Like, w would you say like, like you're kind of like a pioneer in the music game? Yeah, like because you're doing new shit, right? Yeah, you're saying you're the first food to go shirtless, right? Yeah, and then your first food to be on some melodic shit in LA. Uh huh. Which I'll credit you. You are, yeah. You feel like you're a pioneer in this shit. I mean, yeah, fool. I mean, like honestly, like not uh, not to sound cocky, but like who really sounds like me? You know. What if someone were like Lil Maru? <coughs> I mean, Maru does the melodic <coughs> shit, but he don't do love songs. Mm. You know the way I, I put it. Uh, who told me this the other day? I forgot. Um, Lush Lush was like Fool you're like a Mexican Ty Dolla Sign Like Mexican uh, Kaylin You know Like Fool Maru does the melodic shit That's cool But he don't do love songs You get me mm. Like I feel like Like My shit It ain't R&B But it ain't Rap Either You know It's just like Like it's like that West Coast fool, like like the Bino, the Blast, the Kalins that are coming out, you know. Mm. And we don't really have a a, a a fool, a Mexican that's doing that other than me, you know. But um, yeah, fool. As far as like, I mean, yeah, I'm like you could say I'm a pioneer or whatever. And the whole Mexican OT shit fool, I only said that because everybody was in my comments like, oh, this fool's taking his shirt off like Mexican OT. Ah. And it's like, dick, I've been doing that, you know. That's been my swag since the beginning, fool. Like. I'm the nigga that takes his shirt off, fool. It mm. just it is what it is, you know. I, I like yeah. how you embrace it, fool. Yeah, you feel yeah. me? It wasn't even nothing like, oh fuck, Mexican OT. Like, nah, fool. That fool's hard. Yeah, I yeah. pump his shit, you know. But yeah, um, fuck a pioneer. I've never heard that word before. I mean, I've heard the word before, but I've never heard that one before. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, shout out to you, dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like I feel like you be doing shit that goes against the grain, fool. Especially like. Like in LA culture, right? And that's funny, fool, because I, when I start my label, I want to name it that. Wait, what? ATG, Against the Green. Ah. Yeah. When, I, when, I, when I'm able to open my own label, I uh, start my own label up and shit, I want to name it that ATG, Against the Green. That's right. Because, like, fool, like, like, the only reason I do shit like that is, like, closed mouths don't get fed, fool, you know? Scare money don't make money. So, fuck it, take the gamble, you know? If you flop, you flop. You miss a hundred percent of the shots you don't take. Mm. You know, so but yeah, bro. Um, I just feel like my time's coming, bro. Be real, cause like everybody tells me now, I get recognized a lot more now, and like everybody be telling me like, fool, like you're different, but we fuck with you. We fuck with you, but and it's a good feeling, fool, cause like, like I told you in the beginning, I was like, fuck, is this shit gonna work? Like I was stressing, like fuck, is this shit gonna work? Like. What if nobody fucks with me because I don't sound like nobody, you know? But, I mean, it feels good to say, like, fool, don't nobody sound like me, mm. you know? And not, that's not even on some cocky shit. It just it is what it is, fool. Like, if I could be, like, honestly, fool, I'd be thinking about it, too. Like, if I could be, like, Nate Dog, fool, like the Mexican Nate Dog, mm. just get on everybody's hooks, <laughs> run it. Tax niggas just to be on hooks, run it, you know? Mm. Like, but, yeah, bro. I like that, that the way you put it. Against the, the grain. Shit. Yeah, against the grain. Yeah, I see it, bro. Be going against the grain sometimes, though, you do get a lot of backlash yeah. for, and criticism, right? Oh yeah. And I, I remember not too long ago you had went on the leak podcast, and uh, pretty much the same shit, like the fool at no jumper, right? Mm -hmm. I don't like your shit. Yeah. Like, how how do you handle that fool when it's in your face and it's not just on an Instagram well, comment? Like, 
the whole situation with JR, there's no beef there either. Like, shout out JR. Uh, the whole situation with JR, the only thing that, that ached me wasn't the fact that he said he didn't like my music. It was the fact that he said I'm corny. Right. That's what pissed me off. And, um, but yeah, fool, like, like when people tell me, yeah, yeah fool, your, your music ain't really like what I like. It's cool, bro. You know, that's what music is, fool. Music is like, it's it's people's opinion. So whatever you whatever you fuck with, you fuck with, dog. Like I'll tell people straight up too. Like yeah, if we make music, but honestly, I don't really fuck with that sound or whatever. You know, it don't it don't catch my attention. And uh, yeah, but the whole JR shit, like it was just because he said I was corny, fool. Because I, I I'm making music for the female audience, mm. you know. Because he said it on the thing, like I don't fuck with it because it's not on some street shit. But it's like, so because I'm not on some street shit, I'm corny. I said it exactly like that. So because I'm not on some street shit, I'm corny. He's like, well, no, no, no. But yeah, I mean, I mean, he's cool now. You know, he be hit, he hit me up and shit. But yeah, then it, it didn't even like that either. You know, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like I'm I'm real good with the with the like you said criticism, man. I mean, for you see when you first post me on on you guys' shit, like. All you see is the fat jokes and people talking yeah. shit, like you know. And I'll go through and like every motherfucking comment, <laughs> fool. And if someone gets me, I'll be like, "Fuck, you got me, fool." Like that's a good one, you know. I'll, I'll like their shit and comment back, like, "Yeah, if you got me, dog." Yeah, like yeah. fuck. <laughs> yeah, the full community comments, fool, are like some of the most ruthless comments in it on Instagram. Do, fool. do you remember a comment that has stood out? Um. Fuck. There's so many, bro. <coughs> so many, bro. Huh? Oh yeah, dog. Fuck. What post was that? Uh, the latest one. With the Mr. Criminal. Oh yeah, when I did the BFP flow and you guys reposted it, fools were commenting pictures of the Mucinex booger. The who who? You know Mucinex, like the 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 when you have boogers and shit, like allergies. It's an allergy medicine. Uh huh. They have a Mucinex. It's like a booger. It's a it's a little green fucking. Oh, it's like a mascot monster. for that. Or yeah, what? look. Let me show you. I'll pull it up, fool. I was like, fuck, I couldn't even get mad, fool, because that shit was funny. <laughs> they said it looked like this fucker right here. Ah, oh, it's fucked up. It's like a little shrek. <laughs> yeah, it's like a little fuck. It's a booger, fool. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> fool, this fool read it to me, and I just started dying. I was like, fuck, they're fucking good, bro. They're quick, bro. Like, what was another one, fool? Oh, the this one that's always stood out to me. When we did the intentions video, they were like, fuck, we didn't know McDonald's had a record label. Uh, I was like, uh, fuck, uh, they're uh, fucking good. How come you don't do that no more, fool? How come you don't pop out with a McDon with um, a McDonald's bathtub and with the handful of glizzies? Like how come I feel like you stopped doing all that? Honestly, fool, it's like I'll still do it, you know. I'll, I'll be down to do another one, but I just don't want people to take me as a meme, mm. as a joke, you know? Cause like like yeah, the visuals are fire or whatever, but I feel like people Jay said it the other day on here. Who? Uh, Jay from Riv. Ah, man. Uh, uh, the clip went a little viral where he, you, I think you guys asked like who, who's someone that you be feel like doesn't get the the props oh, they right. deserve, and because of dumb shit they do. And he was like, well, Frosty. And uh, you know, it's a valid point, fool. Because like some people might just want to take me for a joke because of the fool shit. That's why I kind of stirred away from it, you know. But um. I mean, I just want to be the fucking fly fat fool that gets bitches. That's really what it is. You know? right. I mean, it's who I am. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Let's go back to the the. Cause I, I got an interesting question. Cause I feel yeah. like a lot of rappers fall victim of this, right? Uh huh. So when you had said when you went on League podcast and you said old boy said uh, that you were corny because you don't make street music. Mm -hmm. Did that kind of put pressure on you to make street music? Because you do have a lot of rappers out here who talk about street shit, but they're not necessarily involved in street shit. Yeah. But they might feel pressure to because that's what the genre is talking about right now, right? Yeah. So, like, do you ever get pressure? Like, damn, maybe I should go back, switch it up. Um. Yeah, fool. I feel like everybody, you know, Um. I be thinking like, Fuck, should I go back to that shit? But I'm gonna be real fool. It's so hard for me to write like that now. Before that shit would just come out. I feel like you, you were know? kinda on that yeah. on BFD flow. Yeah, yeah, like like and not uh, on the street shit on BFB flow. I mean, kinda, uh, kinda, kinda to a degree, right? To, not full on yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. You like, know what I mean? But like you were dibbling and dabbling. Yeah, but I'm talking about like 
like when like when I did West LA to Pomona Fu, mm. the street shit would just come out. But that's what I was doing. That's what I was involved in. You know. Now I'm a dad. You know, I fucking all I do is fucking go to the studio, go to the club with the homies. Like you know, like I I don't I don't do the other shit no more. Mm. So like. When I when I try to sit down and write shit like that, I'm gonna be real. Sounds whack now to me, but um, I mean, yeah, I mean, uh, I feel like I second guess myself sometimes, you know. So I'm like, fuck, should I just do some straight street shit? Cause Devils in My Door went up, but Devils in My Door I wrote fucking like three four years ago. Mm. I just recorded it like two years ago, you know, and I I dropped that shortly after leak podcast. Mm. But I had already planned I had already shot the video And was planning to drop it You know But uh, yeah fool um, I mean I feel like Everybody goes through that uh, Like the Like the Second guessing themselves And like fuck it Should I just do this mm-hmm. But I'm gonna just stay in my lane That's And right. do my thing You know That's right I feel Let it. the rappers be rappers Do you come across rappers like that Who like They do they do be talking about that shit But they're not really like that Um, Not really fool I mean mm. I, I don't I don't really be around Other rap fools like that I mean C&G's the only one I really do be around You know My my boy But like For the most part now I just be around like him I don't know if you heard of my boy K2IC He's on He's on the same shit as me Like The singing shit He had a song with Zoe So I'm gonna go viral Called In Line mm. And I, I think even him Like his manager was telling us Like Like You know Like even him Cause I, I mentioned it to him too That like I'm like fuck I wanna do some straight Rapping shit again He's like, bro, if people fuck with you because of the music shit, I mean, the singing shit, keep doing that, you know? Mm. Don't even second guess yourself. So that's how I know, like, okay, maybe I'm not the only one. I thought I was tripping out on myself, like, maybe I'm the only one that be going through this shit. But nah. But, yeah, I, I don't really, it's not that I don't fuck with anybody, but I don't really be around anybody. Mm. Yeah. I feel it. You don't be going out, you don't be trying to network, like, outside of, like, oh, yeah, SoCal? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I just met uh, MC Bob. Cool as fuck. He's uh, from he's from SoCal. Oh, shout out to him though. Yeah, he's from Linwood. Linwood yeah, 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 he's from Linwood. Uh, Cam the Guapo, that's my boy. Yeah, he's hard. Um, shout out to Cam. My all my brothers in fucking Denver. My boy Wes. Mm. My nigga Mero. My nigga uh, Plugs. You know uh, who else do I fuck with? No, no, no <laughs> Texas fools. I haven't really tapped in with the Texas fool. Oh, um. Big four ant. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Shout out to bro. He's been Tapped going in with bro. He's on our rookie of the years list, actually. We, oh, got, yeah? a, we got a starting five rookie of the years. That was on there. Hell yeah. Um, fuck. Who else? Man, that's pretty much it. For, oh, Lil Nate. <laughs> fuck, Lil Nate. Denver fool. Yeah, the Denver fools. You um, should go out to like a South by Southwest next year if you guys got the chance. That'll be fire. Southwest, like Arizona, South Texas. By? No, South by. It's like a, it's a music event for like. A, yeah, in, t- in Austin. I went oh, out there. Real? I got a lot of work done. I interviewed a lot of rappers. It's dope. Did mic drops. Yeah. It's a good way to network because everybody yeah. goes there. Yeah, well, like, I mean, not everybody, right? But yeah. you get it. Um, not yet, fool. I mean, I'm all for networking, you know? Uh, but yeah, like, like I, I really just fuck with... I mean, most of these fools are my age, too, though. You know, like Cam, Cam the Guapo, mm. Bob. Fucking Plugs is a little older than me, but... Like, mm. I did I did I did a song with plugs and fucking FBP West in Colorado. Shot the video, the fool never sent us the fucking video. Yeah, fucking. Send that shit. Send that fucking shit plugs. Lino, Lino, I'll be blowing you up. You don't fucking answer me. Quit lagging. You don't see this shit too. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we I did a uh Plugs was on my last uh EP. Oh. He was on my last tape. We had a song called uh um uh, Fire on Me. And uh, that song was hard, fool. The video was going to look like it was going to be hard, too, but we never got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's what it is, though. But Who, who, who... <laughs> never mind. I was going to take that somewhere. What? No, I was going to say who lags the most, like, in the music game. is like, the videographers. Or, like, who not who's, who lags, but who's harder to work with? Videographers, producers. Rappers. Artists. Are they... Mm. Artists. Why is that? I just feel like everybody got egos, you know? Like, like... It's just hard for some artists to like, but I get it, fool. Cause like now I I be busy as fuck now too, you know. So like, but yeah, I feel like artists, uh, producers, producers just be sending shit out now, you know, for the most part. And then I mean, I only work with Beto mm. with my videos. I I just shot one with Sixth Element though. I don't know if you know who that is. Uh, he shoots a lot for Rancho Mille. Oh okay. My boy is Sixth Element. Yeah, he's hard. <coughs> I did two videos with him, but yeah, I mean. I feel like the artist, fool. The artist would just be on dumb shit sometimes, you know? Mm. 
Like with the Marvel situation, right? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that was different. That was yeah, different. Yeah. But, you know, like I get it though, fool, because like, you know, niggas be busy, fool. It is what it is. And like, shit. Sometimes I don't go to the studio for like two weeks. Huh. It just is what How it many is, songs fool. you got in the vault right now? <laughs> Fuck. Like 30. <laughs> like 30. Like probably more. Mm. But I just I just learned to not get attached to records now too though, you know? Cause like I mean that's uh, I feel like me every time I go I just get a little better. But like this next tape full, it was gonna be ten songs. But I wanted quality over quantity, you know? So I picked the five best ones that I feel like were the best ones. And I was like, fuck it, we'll put this out, you know? And um if I wanna use the other ones for singles, I'll use them for singles, you know? But uh yeah, I got like fuck, I got so much music, bro. And the funny part is I don't even be writing no more. Like I'll write hooks. But like for the most part I'll just go in the studio and just, just vibe punch out, in. Just vibe out. Yeah, mm. punching in. I've been doing that a lot more too, just punching in, bar for bar. But yeah, I got I mean fuck. I'll be working a lot, fool. Like I, I get pissed when I don't go to the studio. I'll be itching. Mm. I'll be bugging these fools. Hit the Navid and CNG, like, let's go, let's go, let's go. They're like, fool, you don't even got nothing ready. And I'm like, fool, I just I feel it. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. That's a good feeling to have, yeah. And I feel like you should take advantage of that because a lot of rappers, they'll get that itch, fool. But I feel like once they get comfortable, like money-wise or yeah. just success-wise, they'll kind of, you know, put their foot off the brake or put off, foot off the uh, pedal. So, yeah, that's a good attribute to have. Yeah. Uh, this new, uh, this AP, any features? Or no. also, or just you? Dolo. Mm. Dolo, solo, dolo. That's right. Any yeah. fe- any hidden features you got in the vault? Um, Drake. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> nah. <laughs> fucking nah, fool. Not really. Um, I haven't really. I'm trying. Uh, I, I want to do a couple singles and work with people. But, like, um, I don't know. I just want. I, I feel like if I'm going to do a feature, I want it to be, like, a, a good move, you know? Yeah. Like like a strategic move as far as like, you know, like it'll benefit me and them. Something that like everybody can eat, you know, and um but yeah, I mean, um anybody wanna work type in fool, you know? Like I I'm willing to work with anybody. But like yeah, this this album I was just uh, this project I was just like fuck it, I just wanted to be me again. Like Flies Fat Fool One. Mm. I was like fuck it, I just wanted to be me. And I feel like Every project I've been working on, fool, you see the progress. Like the first one, the first one I made, Flies Fat Fool One, I was like, okay, this is the best shit I've ever made. And I did number two, and I was like, nah, this is the best shit I've ever made. And I did this one, and like, nah, this is the best shit I've ever made, you know? So, like, I feel like every time I'm just getting better and better and better and better and better. Yeah. That's right. Any uh, Spanish music? I know you had a win on Hater World. Uh uh-huh. Shout out to Blue Devil. Yeah. And uh you had saying what well, what was that? What was that? Chalino? No, what was, was that? Uh, Vicente Fernandez. You had saying some Vicente Fernandez. Uh-huh. What's up? Can we get any shit like that in the future or nah? I wanna do a project full called El Pinche Gordo. <laughs> I just do like like <laughs> like um you know covers or what? Or like you going Probably some covers, but probably mm. some like, you know, so I mean that's what the Spanish shit is too though, you know. Mm. People do a lot of covers and it'll just go up because it'll sound different, you know. Mm. But um yeah um I mean I started like that too you know like I, I mentioned mean? it before when I first started making music at like fourteen fifteen I was in like in a grupo oh no shit I was a vocalist yeah so I was singing in the in the grupo oh yeah. fuck oh I uh, didn't know that yeah <laughs> oh no wonder it probably would have been easier for you to transition but do the melodic shit yeah since you come from that well I've been writing rap since like middle school but like you know like I was just the homies were like fuck it let's do some shit and I was like fuck it run it. Yeah, yeah, you know some fools that I knew in high school. Mm. Yeah. What about any any like different shit? Right, we trying to go against the grain here. Uh-huh. You, you say you listen to the rock. Any rock alternative rock uh, or like some cumbias and shit? My boy gonna pop. Cumbias, out. I'd be down. You feel me? Like rock, maybe like fuck. Just pull machine gun Kelly, huh? Be all fucking <laughs> rock star out. Paint my nose black and shit. Nah, nah, don't do that. Nah, nah that's nah, what I'm saying. Kick nah, for who? Like, like don't get me wrong. I like rock, but I'm not like a rocker. You mm-hmm. know, but um. Um, you'll hear the influence though in yeah. the music, but um, 
Yeah, uh, cumbias, I'd be down. Like, I grew up on cumbias. That's what my mom and dad... I feel like uh, that would was, actually be um, crazy, bro. Viral, huh? If I did one with that fool... You do the rap shit and then, the, like, then do the cumbia? If I did some shit with that fool, Yair, the fool that's been going viral. Who? The fool that did that Chibi Oh, Yair, song. Saldivar. Uh-huh, yeah, Saldivar, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, that'd that, be crazy. That'd be viral. Him and Santa Fe just fucking dropped some shit. That's just hard. Mm. Yeah. Well, recently, now that we're not talking about the Spanish shit, fucking uh, Parkside Plugs, this fool had made an announcement. He's only doing even Spanish. Even damn the mummy, yeah. He said he's going to only make Spanish music from now on. Mm. How do you feel about that? That's dope. Mm. I don't know if I would do it, but that's dope. Yeah. Mm. I mean, Plugs, Plugs knows what it is, fool. He's a real nigga. Like, that's my brother, fool. And it's funny, fool, because when I met that fool in, in Denver, I felt like I had known that fool my whole life already, just mm. off the vibes, you know? But yeah, fool, I mean, that shit he dropped was hard. You know, it's hard. Um, it's different, you know, because he still sounds like real, like Cali, L.A., but it's in Spanish, you mm-hmm. know? It don't sound like the shit you hear in Mexico and shit, you know? But um, yeah, fool, um, shout out my boy Plugs. Shout out to Plugs. Yeah. Would you put uh, plugs like in your uh, like who like who who do you listen to fool like as far as Hispanic people like between us and like the uh, the raza game yeah like top five to you personal just personal your favorites uh, D baby for sure okay valid yeah. D baby um fuck uh FBP West I listen to West shout out to bro um. Weirdo. Shout out Weirdo. Little weirdo. Little Weirdo's hard. Cheeto. And um, one more, one more. Fuck. Who do I listen to a lot? Yeah. Cheeto. Oh, Bravo. Mm. Bad chasing. Mm. Bravo. I fuck with Bravo a lot. But yeah, D-Baby. Fool. I've been on D-Baby hard lately. That was so good, bro. Mm. Like, it's just the pain in the music, you know, it's real. Mm. It's real, fool. Like, and, you know, like, his cadences are crazy. You know what? Hold up. What? Now that I think about it, like, I feel like you kind of are, like, like, with all due respect and shit. Like, you kind of are, like, in that lane, fool. Like, the melodic scene shit, fool. Like, I, I think you might be, like, the Cali D-Baby, fool. Like, I'm, <laughs> like, I'm saying it yeah, right yeah, now, fool. Yeah. Like, now that I really look at it closely... Yeah, but I'll give him his props, fool. Like, like me and him were listening to him the other day, and I was like, fool, it's crazy how, like, the way he spaces out his music, like, and um, never going to end. Like, fool, like, um, it's crazy how he he starts low tone and then just brings it up, boom. Mm. And he'll come back low <laughs> and carry that on, change the cadence a little bit. Like, I don't know, fool. The music's just good, fool. Mm. And then the pain aspect of it is like you really feel it, fool. Like what he's saying, you're like fuck. Like I, I, I can relate to that shit, you know? Yeah, yeah. But D Baby, shout out D Baby, fool. If that fool hits me up for a feature, I'm <coughs> running that shit. No thoughts, no questions asked. I feel, I feel like the styles would match. Huh? I feel like the styles would match. Yeah, it would maybe. go. It'd probably go crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That fool's from Texas, huh? Houston, yeah. Yeah, he did rolling out this year, no? Yeah, him and uh, that Mexican OT were actually the uh, only Hispanics, Hispanic oh, rappers is, to huh? get booked. That's crazy. No, no, Cali. I don't think. No, oh, oh, oh Jeezy didn't did get booked it. this uh, this last one. I'm sorry. Yeah, he did. Did he? He didn't he, pop he out. Took, yeah, he did. He took JOP slot. Did he? Uh huh. Okay, I'm sure. It was a mind. last minute thing though. Oh, it was a la- oh, okay. Yeah, okay, and okay. then uh, Zoe Osama. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. Well, where I was going to go with that, saying that D-Baby and Mexican OT, the only Hispanics, and they're from Texas, do you feel like it's because Cali rappers kind of, like, tend to just stick to their own sound? What do you mean? Like, like why, it's why not, it's not, it's not, it's not attractive to mainstream, oh, the, right? As opposed to, like, D-Baby's music or that Mexican OT's. Yeah. What I'm getting at is Texas, Hispanic rappers, their music... I feel like has can hit mainstream more as opposed to California Hispanic rappers. Mm. Do you feel like California Hispanic rappers kind of put themselves in a box? Uh, yeah, for sure, fool. Like, you know, like, 
there's so much talent out here, fool. But like you said, like everybody just puts themselves in a box. And I feel like honestly, fool, it sucks to say, but we're like crabs in a fucking bucket. You get me? Like that's what I meant earlier when I said the music game's grimy. Because like, fool, everybody, like, let's be real. Another, uh, uh, fuck, what, what was I going to say? Um... A Mexican's worst enemy sometimes is another Mexican. Most you believe of the time. in that saying? Yeah, fool. Mm. You know, like, like it's our culture too, bro. Like, like, let's be real. Like, like for example, like Middle Easterns, they'll come to this country, fool. Work, work, get, get up, fool. They'll bring their family and put the family on, fool. But our family, like, there's a lot of envidia, you know, a lot of envy, mm. you know. And um, but yeah, fool, I feel like as a raza, fool, that's kind of what sucks. Um, you know, I I love being Mexican food, but I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna act like I don't know what the fuck how we are, you know. And that's just, but yeah, fool. I mean, the Texas, the Texas foods. Um, I don't know, fool. They just they got it, mm. they got it, you know. And um, I mean, I feel like I could be that for us. That's know? right. Like no cocky shit, but mm. you know, um, but yeah, fool for sure. Like a lot of a lot of we have a lot of talent out here, but. We just get stuck in a box, fool. We put ourselves in a box. And, like, I just feel like sometimes we like to blame other people, but in reality, it's just ourselves. We do it to ourselves, you know? But, yeah, I mean, hopefully, um, if not me, hopefully someone else could come along and, you know, open up that door, fool. Because, I mean, the West used to run mm. the music scene, you know, in the 90s. It was West Coast, East Coast, and the West Coast used to run this shit, but... I don't know what happened. Adam twenty two recently went viral for saying that um, that the North and South should collide, should combine forces against Texas Hispanic rappers because they're winning, right? Do you feel like Texas Hispanic rappers are winning right now? Uh, yeah. Over Cali rappers. I mean, let's be real. Yeah, I mm. mean, they, they got the like you like we were saying they got that mainstream sound on lock, fool. You know. But, I mean, as far as the whole North and South shit, like, I don't gangbang, bro. So, you know? Mm. They don't really... I mean, even with the Texas shit, fool, we're all raza at the end of the day. So, you know, I mean, That's as far good. as me, like, I'm not a gang member. So, like, that shit don't really... I don't want to say affect me, but it, uh, I don't get involved in all that, you know? But, uh, you know, shout out shout out to all the raza. We're all raza at the end of the day. But, uh, yeah, bro, the Cali... The, I mean, the Texas fools, like... I mean, they just got it, fool. Their swag too. Mm. Their swag's different, you know. And um, but I feel like honestly, fool, like, like you said, like, I, I'm like you said, I'm the LAD baby or whatever. Like, I feel like my sound is kind of refreshing because, like we say, we I, I don't I don't like we just said uh, I don't sound like nobody. So like, like what I meant when I said like I could be like the Nate Dog or whatever, like say lefty or rowdy or drummer or any of these fools wanted to do like because let's be real fool all these fools do is the which is cool all the all these fools do is the gang bang thugged out shit you know and um if these fools wanted to do like a love song for the girls hit me up <coughs> i'll i'll put i'll put a hook together mm. you know we could do whatever you know mm. i just feel like if people want to work for i feel like i could open up a whole different market for these fools these fools haven't really tried to touch you know uh. and um but yeah, bro, like, like, I just feel like me, like, as far as me, though, I just feel like I'm super versatile as far as, like, if I really wanted to, I could probably go back to the thug shit, you know? Uh. But, um, you know, I, I like doing the, the lovey-dovey shit because, like, it's just, like you said, it separates me from everybody. And um, I just feel like if fools wanted to capitalize on it, fuck it, run it, you know? Let's do mm. Let's work. And, um... But yeah, I feel like honestly, I feel like I could be like an Akon because I, I I do the ratchet shit too, you know. I could make club bangers, and then go back to talking about fucking making love and you know all that other shit that girls like, that girls like and shit. Mm. You could appeal to all markets pretty much. Yeah, you know type shit. Yeah, and I feel like 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 that's a it's a one up I got on everybody. Mm. <laughs> to be real, you know, but huh. uh, but yeah, anybody want to work, tap in. Let's get this money. What if someone from up north wanted to tap in and work? Uh, music shit. They're just music. Yeah, uh -huh. they're not. They're not. They're not on that. Um, 
they could DM me. Let's see. Let's see what we we could talk about something. What if know? they were on that? On on what? Like on that? Like the music? Just music or? Nah, like they were north this fool, and, um, and, and they, they wanted to work on some music shit. Just on some like not no gang shit. Just you know some melodic shit. Yada yada yada. I would just have to like think about it, um, just in the aspect of like, I did grow up down here. I'm from LA, mm. you know, and um, you know, every I do affiliate with certain people, mm. and um, this is no like I'm not saying you know fuck them or fuck the other side. Like nah, not, never it's just like more that. of a. It's just like like. I just feel like I'd be stupid and it would put a target on my back. Right. You know? It's more so you know? of a safety yeah. concern as, as opposed safety to concern, like, oh, I don't fuck with you. Like, I wouldn't want to do that because then I feel like it would throw, I would throw myself in the pot and get stuck in the mix. Right, you right, know? right. And right, I don't right. want to do that. Right. You know? You know, but uh, I don't know. Who knows? Hit me up. Maybe Type shit. something could happen, you know? Maybe if the bag's right or something, you know? Because mm. at the end of the day, that's all I care about, fool, is making the money, you know? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. That's right. How do you feel about uh, Rich Rabbit's <coughs> recent disses? Uh, be real for I haven't really uh, looked into that. I haven't really heard. I didn't even know he dropped uh, disses like that. Mm. I didn't. I didn't. I don't know. I be real for I haven't even really been paying attention to the whole uh, North versus South shit. Cause like like I said, it, it don't really. I don't. It don't really concern me. You know. Mm. Yeah, but um. Yeah, for I haven't really tapped into none of that. Or like, if who's or who's dissing who, or you know. Mm. I haven't really paid attention to none of that. That's right. I feel it. Yeah. Well, shit. When's the EP dropping? Uh, I'm hoping. What day was it? <coughs> Fuck. I'm hoping like the next week. <laughs> Homie, that makes my covers been lagging. <laughs> 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 you know? I'm about to call that fool after this shit. Like, fool, I need Put him on blast right now. <laughs> Two raw. Hurry up, dog. <laughs> 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 no, nah, yeah, but. Um, I'm aiming for maybe uh, the end of this month. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. What about later on this year? You already got projects working in the future, future, or you yeah, just focused um, on this, or what's up? Well, right now, yeah, I'm focused on this, but I, I, I want to drop more singles, more mm. singles, and um, I don't know. I like work, they, like the way I've been doing the project shit. I like it because I've been putting a lot out, a lot more music, you know. Oh. And I feel like now, if say one song were to blow, I'll have a whole catalog that people could go through, you mm. know. So. Yeah, but, um, you know, I just, uh, I, I've been focused on this project for, like, the last two months, and, um, yeah, I feel like I've perfected it, you know, I like, I like how it is, I like how it sounds, and, um, but, yeah, I'm excited, I'm excited, bro. That's right, that's right. Any last words you want to leave for the people? Um, you know, shout out Food Community, and, My um, boy. yeah, stay on the lookout for a single summer, it's dropping, uh, in the next few weeks. And uh, yeah, go run up uh, Flies Fat Food 2, Flies Fat Food 1, and you know, Solid Mobs in the fucking building, Frosty Chasing Doe, and yeah, just like, comment, subscribe, and um, yeah, shout out all the Rasa. You heard it, and there it is, Frosty. Always a pleasure having you come through. Yeah, I appreciate you, Pops. You know, we fuck with you heavy, fool. Hell yeah. You got our support. Yes, sir. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>